Today we're going to build a heat exchanger that we're going to add into the floor heating system in our shop. Uh, we'll be putting it in line from the floor return side to the uh, water heater that we use to heat the floor. Here's some of the tools you're going to need. Uh, we need some abrasive tape, uh, solder, some flux, a propane torch, and a pipe cutter big enough to cut uh, your biggest pipe. Uh, I used inch and a half tubing and three quarter inch copper tubing. Uh, I also had two inch and a half T's, uh, reducers from inch and a half to three quarter. I have four of those. I have two female three quarter inch to pipe and two male three quarter inch. I started with four pieces that I cut off my inch and a half. They are four inches long. Uh, 61 inches is what I made my inner three quarter inch tube. And then I had cut the outer tube, the inch and a half to 44 inches. Okay, we have all of our ends prepped that we're going to be soldering. Uh, same thing with all the fittings. And we, uh, we got it all, used the air compressor to blow all of it out. So there's no debris in there to contaminate our system when we get it all hooked up here. So I'm going to start putting flux on. I got some flux already on the ends over on this here part, but I'll... Uh, We'll put the flux on and we'll put it together and show you what it looks like and then we'll get to soldering. First you take your inch and a half, take your three quarter, and run it through here. And then this has already been fluxed, that's already been fluxed, I just use my finger to dip in there and put it on. We haven't quite got that far yet, so that goes on there. And we got another one of the four inch pieces. It's got flux already on this end, and that's already got flux in there. And then we have these covers here, and there is a stopper in these. I don't know if you can see it. Try to see if I can hold it up to where you can see the stopper. It is not wanting to focus on that. Anyway, there's a stopper in. Maybe you can see it on this side here. Yeah, there's just that little button down there at the bottom. If you can see it on the three-quarter side, there's just that little that stops the tubing from going too far. On this one, there is no stoppers in there because we've ground them out. That's so that can slide, the three-quarter tubing can slide all the way through. So this is the one that doesn't have the, uh, the little stoppers, so we put that on. Get that out fast enough. This has got flux in it already but this does not so we'll put some flux on there all right and we'll go grab your other four inch piece right here put a little flux on this right here some on there some on there okay and you grab the one that has a stopper in it. So it's got a little flux in here. Grab that one there. Now, this is our three quarter thread to three quarter uh, tube in here. Put a little flux on there. sure I need to put this in just a little bit about that far okay over the other side do something 
Let's see. Let's see. This one. What's on here? What's on here? Three four ish. There you go. This guy. What's on that one? Right here. I'm not going to this one like this. Okay, that's all together. That's all together. Now, I notice some of this isn't really lined up. What I'll do is I'll lay this on the floor and I'll mark it all out. So that because both my ends are going to be facing the same way here. So both mine are going to be facing up like this. Because that's how it's going to work going up to my solar feed job. Um, this is still double time, so it's going a little faster than it should. Uh, when you're heating your joint, you should be heating the, the most outside edge, uh, not the tubing like it, I am right there. Uh, that doesn't give you a good capillary action to suck it inside the joint. Now these two joints hold that I do that before the camera goes dead. Uh, I do realize my mistake as I'm doing it. It's been a while since I did copper. Uh, but you want to heat the most outside edge, and I'll, I'll point at it with an arrow here. And uh, that's where you want to heat first. And then you want to normally heat from the underside, and then you can start your solder. It'll draw it all in. Uh, everything looks good when you, you get done. Uh, you get a good seal. Like I said, these two joints do actually hold... Uh, I, I luckily must have been warming up enough of the outside edge to get the capillary action to happen, but normally you just, you, you have to do it that way. So there you have it. It's all finished. We got it all soldered together. Uh, I decided to put uh, my three-quarter, I had them in the supply list and didn't, didn't mention them, but I did put my three-quarter inch fittings right in here uh, all that was is just an add of uh, a three-quarter inch uh, copper tubing that we prepped and then we put those fittings in on the end um, that's a good way anyway then I got a chance to pressure test it I can go in and plug this end and go in this end and, and run the uh, run the uh, pressure test uh so that's one good thing yeah to pressure test I'll j i just use an air compressor i got a plug for one end and then a, a fitting for the other that i can run air and then i can check it uh you can just do it with water the only problem with doing it with water if you do find a leak in it then you got to try to drain it all out and then it you can do it with water but it's it's not as easy uh air I can just hit it check the pressure if the pressure is leaking out slowly I can go along with some soapy water or something see if there's any bubbles but other than that everything looks good uh, I think the tin job with the solder job would turned out pretty good so uh, any questions uh, go ahead and leave comment below uh, this actually is from your guys's comments uh, somebody asked me uh, now I'll, I'll probably put your names in the uh, uh, description down below uh, there they they asked if I was gonna do a solar heater in it and really I never even thought about putting a solar heater in my floor heat system uh, another thing is, is I do say hot water heater uh, I don't know eh, sorry about that it's a water heater not a hot water heater if the water was hot already got a lot of backlash on that too but uh we use use a uh water heater to heat the floor in this this shop and uh this here now is going to help heat the 
incoming and I'll write that down. I'll show you how the flow goes. But this side over here will go, it'll come from the floor into this end on the uh, three quarter, go through out to this end for the, uh, go back to the, the water heater and then, uh, we'll, we'll lay it down. I'll lay it down and write it out for you so you guys can see it. And then there'll be a description. Uh, uh, I'd like you guys to subscribe. I, I haven't been doing videos very often. Uh, I had broken my arm recently and, uh, really kind of affected. I had quite a few surgeries on it to try to make it so I can use it again. Uh, but we're back and we're putting things together so we plan on doing another video here they're going to be about every two weeks uh we'll do this one uh showed you guys how to build this uh the next video will probably be the install of this into the system and then the install of the the solar the building of the solar the solar heating system and then installing it so if you guys want to subscribe uh we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that's uh that's the main goal uh thank you and uh, i appreciate it thanks bye